All right, talking transfer cases. This is the Toyota H42 four speed, which came out in 74. And what I've done here is I've coupled it to an earlier model transfer case, which is the three speed transfer case. Do a little zoom in here. You can kind of see the um, I'm joint linkage I made there for the high low. And then you can see this is the advanced adapters, four speed to Chevy 350 conversion kit. But, you know, this is a very good conversion because the low in the three speed transfer case is a 2.3 to one. I, I got my mouth over there, but we'll talk about it in a second. You know, it really makes a neat conversion. It, it is a much lower low. I, I think your final gear ratio goes from an eight, six to one with the regular four speed to an eight to one difference with the three speed transfer case. For about 300 and this one actually, I, I, I talked to the place in LA Spectre. They, they, they just hooked me up with a kit, everything I needed. The four speed gear stop, the input gear. I guess the input gear has to be between a 19, um, a nine of 1973 and a four of 1975. I, you know, that's the input gear you need and the bearing. It, and just for the gear and the bearing, it's about 180 bucks. Yeah, say 200 bucks for shipping and everything. That's a very good price for this conversion to get that low range gear ratio. You know, you could spend 1,800 to 3,000 dollars going to an Orion or a, you know, most of your four to one or three to one low range gear sets are going to be a lot of money. This is, you know, like I say, 350 bucks is what I spent to do this one and. It works really good. I mean, it's it is a much lower low, much better situation for the price. You know, you can't beat it. They talk about it being noisier. You know, all of your transfer cases that are going to be what you know you call an offset output, where you have a gear-driven output instead of the output coming out of the straight out of the back of the transfer case, like on a lot of your domestics. So you know, all the Toyota transfer cases are noisy. It's just a part of what you got to do, you know, if you want to have fun, gear it down a little bit, it's not that much noisier. And like I say, the price, can't beat the price, because you can find these transfer cases, I have a whole bunch of them, <laughs> you know, I sell for cheap, I can't give them away. But, you know, you can find these three-speed transfer cases all over, you know, with the three-speed gearbox, guys can't hardly give them away. So, I mean, they're out there, you can find them. And they're good cases, very, very good cases. You can kind of see there, I rebuilt the uh, backup switch. Those are really easy to rebuild, solder new terminals on and rewire in. Like I say, that's the advanced adapters. Bell housing, V8 conversion kit. That's the best one, I think, out there, but yeah. That's a, three-speed transfer case there, not on the modification. Show you from another side here what it looks like. So, the four-speed, the regular four-speed with the four-speed transfer case, the four-speed is a 3.5 to 1, and the transfer case is a 1.96 to 1. Uh, so the three-speed, the first gear is a 2.7, the three-speed is a 2.3. So, the four speed with the regular four speed transfer case, your output at the rear of the case is 6.9 to 1 in low. At the wheels, that's 28.3. Now, your four speed with the three speed transfer case, like here, your low range output goes up to 8 to 1. And then at your wheels, it's 33 to 1. And so, with a three, 3 to 1 compound low, your output, your final low output, is 10.6. So I mean, you go from six to eight to 10, that's, you know, pretty good for the cost. Like I say, for the three to one, you look at 1800. I put an Orion in that blue one, the actual cast iron transfer case from Advanced Adapters. That thing was probably 3000 or a 
more by the time I put it together. It was a four to one. It was nasty, nasty low. <laughs> kind of see, you know, the conversion there is it's all the same. It's really easy. Bolts right up, fits right in there. It's nice. It's like I say, I think for the money, for the gear ratio that you get at the end of it, that's a really good deal. <laughs> you know, 300 bucks, 350 bucks to get that, you know, increased low range all day. Like I say, it's a, it's a visceral feel in your low. You can actually feel how much lower it is and how much better you can climb. Especially when you add the V8 with this, you know, gear conversion, you, <laughs> you can really climb. This thing will climb a tree, you know, and if you have the six, it just, it gives you that much more torque to the wheels. And these things are torque monsters anyway, and that's what you want is torque to be able to climb and pull. So, I mean, this is just a good deal all the way around the three-speed transfer case onto the H42, the Toyota four-speed. Great, great conversion. Well, good afternoon. Doing a little transfer case work here. <laughs> Gonna separate it. Gotta get them separated. <laughs> yeah, so this is a three speed transfer case here. Three speed gearbox. What I did is uh, to separate them, you know, once this is loose and this is loose. Oh, that's the nut there. What, you can take these bolts and give them a smack with the old uh, sand pounder to, to loosen it up. You know, you can move this around and kind of tap it and get it to bang apart. And these are the long bolts and go here, here, and <laughs> here. The three of them and then the two shorties that go under here and in here. You have to pull the access cover of course and then those are the two shorty there that come through here so what you have is your nut then you have your spacer or your spacer <laughs> rather your lock nut which this one when I took it apart was loose kind of weird then you have your spacer oh nasty in there and then you can see the bearing in there these out of the way. These are what you call a one piece case. They're not the split case. So, what you have to do is when it comes apart, you're going to have your PTO gear in here, and then you're going to have your uh, input gear. When you put these on a four speed, which is a good conversation you can, or a good conversion you can do kind of brings me to a point about transfer cases and four speeds and gears. The Redland Cruiser, which I'm going to show you in a little bit, I did the three speed transfer case with the four speed gearbox and I was looking on a, a forum the other day and it was old but God it made me mad because the guy was saying, he, he was asking a question on a forum, he says I got a brand new transfer case, it's rebuilt but it's a three-speed and he says I understand if you put the three-speed gearbox or the three-speed transfer case with the four-speed gearbox it's really good and you ask people what they thought people said oh no it's not worth your time it's noisy <laughs> it's not worth the money and I thought well you it actually adds quite a bit of gearing whenever you put these I'll go over the math in a minute and I think it's totally worth it because I'm building one right now, the 65, the red one. That's uh, got the four speed with the three speed transfer case. Let's see if we can get this separated. It's going to fight me. <laughs> All right. Got it. Through a little bit there now. Kind of ready to come through, so. <laughs> There's your PTO. <laughs> Ooh, look at the rest on there. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Oops, 
Uh, so anyways, there's your uh, PTO gear. And then your input gear. That's the one you need to change. See, that's a course. The four-speed one that fits it looks just like that, except for it's got a finer for the uh, input shaft there. But then that's your input gear there. Three-speed gearbox. <laughs> not, not very good condition there. Yes. So, anyways, the four-speed will have the same bolt pattern as the three-speed. So they fit right on. <laughs> 